You may be sitting in front of your computer with Google Classroom open, wondering, now that a student has turned in an assignment, what do I do with it? Let's talk about that. First, let's talk about ownership. A student document belongs to the student until it is turned in. The same document now is owned by the teacher and the student cannot work on it. The student cannot read any comments until the assignment is returned by the teacher. Of course, the student can always uncement, but let's practice a different way. If you want to give student points, Notice where it says 100 points. The assignment can be 100 points. It could be worth 50 points. It could even be worth 10. This is your choice. As soon as you click off of it, you will update right here. And then give them their points. So this person gets 10, this person gets 10, and so on. In the next video, I'm gonna show you two extensions that will help you with grading and better yet, providing feedback. When you are done, you click return. You may choose to not do any grading in Google Classroom or have some assignments without grades that still need to be returned. For example, in this assignment, every participant created a different slide. And of course, teachers provided feedback, conversations. So in this case, I'm gonna change those 100 points to ungraded. It is going to update it for everyone in the class. And then I can select all students and return it As you may recall, when a student turns in an assignment, the ownership belongs to the teacher. Returning the assignment returns the ownership back to the rightful owner, the student. But an even better reason why teachers should return assignments is because it gives students the opportunity to select view all and have a list of every single assignment that has been given to them, determine which assignments still need to be worked on, which ones have been turned in, if an assignment has a score, and when the teacher has looked at the assignment and returned it. Do you feel more comfortable returning student work in Google Classroom? Wonderful. Let's continue with more video tutorials.